Hey guys and welcome to another After Effects tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you a really cool trick to create a kind of write on effect where it reveals the characters like you are writing them if you know what I mean so in order to do that we should just create a text at first and let's write um, write uh, no let's type um, Axton is cool perfect I'm going to center it uh, Okay, center the anchor, anchor point, and yeah, I'll just change the font to Axis, which is a really cool font. Um, yeah, perfect. So we got this perfect, nice text, and what we're going to do with this text is we're gonna right click it and create masks from text, okay? Other than in my last tutorial, create shapes from text, we're going to create masks from text, okay? Now we got masks from text. We can also change the color by pressing a Control, Shift, and Y because uh, it made shapes on a solid, and we can change it to black because black is nice, okay? Then we're going to effect generate stroke got that and i can show you this one real quick we're going to select all masks so we're going to select every yeah every character so it animates the whole text we can uh, select on transparent and make the stroke color black because otherwise we couldn't really see it and um it raise the brush size and then we can like uh, animate the text by improving the, the percentage of uh, end property okay so I'm going to create a keyframe here and somewhere at five six seconds I'm going to change it to hundred percent now we got this whoa that was stupid it fits up to 200% okay now we got this okay looks kind of cool but we want to write on the whole text not only the strokes yeah um, in order to do that I'm going to delete those keyframes again um, get to 100% again and then we will select reveal original image okay so uh, what this does it only shows us the stroke that goes inside of the mask okay so if we go to on transparent they are going on the outside of the mask too but if we go to reveal original image the stroke goes only to the inside so we can raise it up as much as we want and if we raise it up enough it should fill up all the characters and we can what we can do now is do the same thing as we did before using the end property setting a keyframe here setting keyframe somewhere at six seconds or however you like it then uh, fit up to 200 percent uh, let's see how this looks like do you see that looks pretty cool like it is kind of spraying the text uh, what we can also do is we can disable stroke sequentially okay so what this does uh, we are animating all letters together um, using any property okay so um, you can I guess After Effects explains it better than I do so I'm going to uh, create a keyframe right here with 0% and 100% here uh, there wasn't 0% but I don't care um, so After Effects is going to explain it to you now yeah that's pretty slow but yeah we can change that too by just moving the keyframe around then it's filling up the letters and i think this looks pretty cool um there's also other options um 
like creating every like animating single letters if we don't select all masks here we have this drop down menu for every letter why are the 40 I don't wonder uh, why there's four O's. It's because every O is uh, made out of two O's. In order that there's a cut out circle in the middle of the O. Otherwise, it would look like an O without a cut out circle in the middle. <laughs> so if we just select E, we can animate E as a single letter, okay? So I'm going to set the brush size to uh, about five and then go to on transparent so we got this cool stroke strokey text effect again and what we can do now is we can um, raise the spacing whoa which looks um, like we got kind of dashes in this E okay these pointy dashes and yeah Looks pretty cool too. We can do a lot of things with this stroke effect, as you can see. And I think this was actually pretty much all I wanted to show you. I hope you learned a lot in this video. And see you next time. Stay tuned. Generate and stroke. Yeah. And there are many tutorials on shit.